Snack Time Kids doll involved a motorized mouth mechanism that allowed the doll to eat plastic foods. Kids being kids, it didn't take much for fingers and hair to get trapped in those evil doll's unforgiving maws. While such a doll wasn't exactly life-threatening, parents unsurprisingly did not like their kids' new favorite pals pulling their hair out by the roots. The most charming aspect of these terrifying eating machines was that they were made without any on-off switch. In at least one instance, this led to a girl virtually being scalped all along the back side of her head. Mattel may not have identified any obvious hazard in their tests, but thankfully that didn't stop them from pulling the dolls from store shelves. In the 1950s, all of America was excited to see the economy-changing prospect of nuclear power and splitting the atom. With the introduction of the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Lab, children everywhere were encouraged to get involved and be inspired by science. Created by Alfred Carlton Gilbert, the science kit for children included ore samples with uranium, a known source of radiation poisoning. While it's been concluded that short-term exposure to the types of radiation in the kit wouldn't have caused an immediate health detriment, any kind of consumption by these children would have been cancer-inducing. A clear danger to children and these kits still took a few years to be pulled off the market. Spring Loaded doesn't really have a kid-friendly connotation, but snap bracelets are metal springy bands wrapped in colorful plastic and fabric to entice small children, designed to straighten out rigid when unfurled, and curl up quickly when smacked against a wrist or surface. The toy quickly popularized in the 1990s with school children. Unfortunately, like many toy fads, generic manufacturers got a hold of the snap bracelets and began cutting costs by using cheap fabric that sharp metal edges would slice through into small tender wrists nationwide. Wide. The knockoffs were quickly called into investigation and recalled by manufacturers, who were selling them to children for under a dollar. Someone in the 80s had an awesome idea to take a drunken adult bar game and put a twist on it by marketing it as child fun. Add heavy, solid, sharp metal, impaired forethought, and children, and you get the Jart disaster of 1988, wherein the Consumer Product and Safety Commission banned Jarts on December 19th for causing an estimated 762 emergency room visits every year, with 80% being minors. Adult supervision or not, Jarts were responsible for over 7,000 injuries and even even a few deaths. The release of Creepy Crawlers in 1964 came with high temperature melted plastic and an electrically powered mold that heats to 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius. This was an extremely popular toy for children, wherein kids get to make and design their own gummy toys in the shape of creepy bugs and spiders. While the creative aspect was intriguing, sizzling hot burns and toxic fumes caused the downfall of this popular toy. Magnets are always a fascinating toy for growing minds. They provide endless amusement using the natural forces of the universe. In 2004, Megablox released Magnetics, a plastic building toy with tiny magnetic pieces inside. Tragically, the magnets could be easily dislodged from the toy pieces and were quickly swallowed by curious toddlers and babies. These magnets caused several health complications when they would naturally attract in the body and pull on organs. In 2006, Magnetics was recalled, but not before 30 kids were injured. And tragically, in 2005, a 22-month-old named Kenny Sweet died from digesting the toy. Toy guns are a hot topic with many parents because of concern about the future mental detriment they may cause. In the 1940s, the Austin Magic Pistol was released. It used an explosive reaction with calcium carbide and water to propel ping pong balls out of the muzzle at breakneck speeds. The manufacturers quickly learned of the real-world violence that could be committed with this dangerous toy and quickly removed it from the market. Knockers, clackers, and click clacks were large acrylic balls attached to hefty string. Their simple design was also their sole amusement. It was created by knocking the two balls together as hard and fast as humanly possible. Their force got out of hand quickly with bruised eyes, broken teeth, and runaway balls that became flying projectiles into other people and objects. Clackers, or whatever you want to call them, were banned in 1985 after numerous minor injuries and shattered toys. The iconic splash-off water rocket used water pressure buildup from your house to intensify and boost the toy rocket into the sky. Played with by both children and hobbyists, these rockets were well-liked until they began exploding mid-air. The toy company had 37 cases reported of the rocket exploding under pressure and shrapnel flying off in unpredictable directions, causing skin lacerations and property damage. 
New technology often leads to new and exciting educational toys. The downfall is in the novelty science. In 2007, the Spin Master Company out of Toronto, Canada, introduced Aquadots to the world, a creative toy that comprised of small beads that, when moistened with water, formed a chemical reaction that made them stick together. Unfortunately, millions of shipments were quickly recalled later that year when it was discovered that the Chinese manufacturing company used a chemical in the beads that acted as a powerful sedative when swallowed. As a result, multiple children were found in a comatose state. 